as we know, the mainstay of uh, treatment of rectal cancer is, uh, uh, at least for stage two and three, is uh, chemo radiation followed by surgery. However, um, uh, surgery can lead to uh, significant comorbidities, such as the need for a permanent colostomy, um, uh, fecal incontinence, uh, urinary or sexual dysfunctions, sometimes even mortality. Um, now, we do know that uh, following uh, uh, new adjuvant chemo radiation, um, uh, some patients experience what we call a complete clinical response, meaning that the tumor is not detectable anymore, neither by physical examination, um, nor by endoscopy or, uh, or biopsy. Uh, we also know that about 18-26% of patients that undergo chemo radiation will experience a complete pathologic response, uh, which means that uh, uh, after surgical resection, no tumor cells will be found uh, in the specimen. Uh, most surgeons uh, uh, decide what treatment to offer based on uh, the uh, stage at the time of uh, initial diagnosis of cancer uh, and uh, disregard or uh, do not consider uh, the uh, response of the tumor to chemo radiation. Uh, however, uh, if we could identify uh, with uh, um, an appropriate accuracy, um, what tumor, what uh, patient in fact uh, have achieved a complete uh, uh, pathologic response, uh, we may offer to those patients uh, less invasive surgical treatment or even consider to uh, forego uh, surgery at all.